Right over the bed, over the bed. Nigga, I gotta be safe. Let's get to the sports talk. Is with us now. What, what do we know about what went into Eli's decision to call it a career now? Yeah, look, Eli, it feels good from what we're told. He feels healthy, didn't play much this year, so that makes sense. And was interested in the idea of continuing his career elsewhere if he could find a starting opportunity somewhere. But the more that he thought it over, the more he talked to his family, I think that the decision he came to was, yes, those opportunities may potentially be out there, but they also may not. And quite frankly, what does he have left to prove to anyone, right? I mean, the career he's had, any rookie quarterback entering the league would sign for it right now. And I think he just sort of made the decision that this was a good opportunity. He could say he only played for one team, which is something he always wanted to say. And he can retire while he's still healthy and look forward to a long life with his, uh, with his wife and kids. Are you surprised that he chose to retire now or not surprised? No, I'm not really surprised. Look, this is a guy who has played for one organization his entire career, is a two-time Super Bowl champion, and pretty much has already stated two things. Okay, one, he was not going to be a backup, and two, he really didn't see himself playing for a for another football team. I mean, those are... Yeah, he wasn't going to play for another team. He always just wanted to play for one organization. He didn't want to be known as playing for other teams. He wanted to be able to to play with one team his whole career. And then, if he wanted to retire, he didn't want to go nowhere else and be a backup. He wanted to be a starter. So that could go into his retirement as well, what made him want to do that, to step down and just be able to just go out to the sunset with his family like and not, and not play. Like He did not want to go nowhere else and be a backup. That's what he was going to be because the, the direction of teams going – they don't want a young quarterback in there. And he was going to go somewhere to be a backup. And that's not what Eli wanted to be. He wanted to be a starter. Things that he said. So I'm not surprised at all over the fact that he decided, hey, look, at this point in time, with the team really trying to prepare for the 2020 season and make their plans as far as veteran free agency in the draft and, uh, and other teams are right now in the thick of doing those kinds of things as well. I'm just going to go ahead and make my announcement, step away, and just ride off into the sunset. He's made plenty of money. He has plenty of respect amongst his peers. There's really nothing else for Eli to prove. And as someone who I got to talk to a little bit this preseason at, at training camp up there at the, at the Giants facility, I mean, I, I have nothing but respect for the guy and really commend him for the way that he has, you know, conducted himself during his career. Ordinarily, we wait more than uh, like half an hour after the story breaks to ask a question like this. <laughs> but there's so much context to his career, when he won his Super Bowls, when he did not win Super Bowls. Is Eli Manning a Hall of Famer? I think he's going to be a Hall of Famer because of the two wins that he had, it was against the Patriots. And that's going to help his case to be a, a Hall of Famer. Uh, uh, one of these years, whenever they do the ballot, he's going to be a Hall of Famer because he got – Two rings on his own resume and some Pro Bowls on his resume. So he gonna be able to get in the Hall of Fame because of them just them two big wins against one of the best organizations in the NFL. It's gonna help him get in. Yeah, it's such a subjective question, Keith, right? Yeah. I mean I'd, I'd have to I don't know where exactly his you know his yardage and his statistics stack up with those who are already in the hall. But I, I can just tell you this, from the way he played the game and how clutch he was in the biggest of moments when the, when a lot was on the line, when everything was on the line, it'd be hard to keep him out relative to those kinds of uh, expectations that he met. So, I mean, that's something we'll, I'm sure he's going to be someone who's going to be, without a doubt, a lightning rod for debate as time moves on here and he becomes eligible because he's a very polarizing individual as far as how people respected him or didn't respect his accomplishments on the football field as it relates to the Hall of Fame. But um, I'd be leaning towards the side of putting him in there. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and announcements. The best, stuff in them shits in the safe. Got me a spot out the way. Nigga just trying to be safe.